Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on dimensional and model analysis. In this video, we are going to find out the expression for the power in the pump by using relays method. So first, I will read what is the given problem. Find the expression for the power P developed by a pump when P depends upon the head H, discharge Q and specific weight W of the fluid. So this was the given question. Now we will understand what is the given data. Now here it is given that power of pump P which depends upon head capital H discharge capital Q and specific weight W. So we can write here as if P is the function of H, Q and W. So now we are using here relays method to derive expression. So how we can write so we will write here P is equal to K H raised to A into Q raised to B into W raised to C. So what is this K? So K is constant and A, B, C are the arbitrarily powers that we have to give here. Now we will substitute the dimensions. So we have to write the dimensions in the form of fundamental dimensions that is M mass length L and time capital T. So here, what about this power? So power of the pump, we will write. So in my earlier video, I have derived this dimension in the form of fundamental dimension. So here, for power, we will write m into l square into t raised to minus 3, which is equal to k. Now what about this h? So h is the head. Head that means length. So I will write, write here l raised to a. Now what about the q? Q is the discharge, so discharge we will write in the form of area into velocity. So if I, if we take the fundamental dimension of area and then velocity, then we will get here Q that is L cube into T raised to minus 1. So we have to give here whole bracket raised to B. Then specific weight W. So specific weight W we will write here M L raised to minus 2 T raised to minus 2 minus 2 and here the power is C. So we have to give here whole bracket raised to C. Now we will simplify this. So I will write here M L square T raised to minus 3 which is equal to K. Now first we will take M. So if I observe here in this whole there is only one M. So I will take here M. Then next is L. So L here is L raised to A. Now if I multiply with this B to this 3 then L raised to 3B. So I will take here L into L raised to 3B into L raised to minus 2 into C. That is L raised to minus 2C. Then we will move for the T. So here T into minus 1 raised to B. That is T into minus B into T raised to minus 2C. Now again we will simplify this. So K into M L raised to here L raised to A is there actually. So how we can write this? If we combine this L that is A plus 3B minus 2C. Now we will combine T. So T is equal to minus B minus 2C. Now we will move for the next step. So we have to write here left hand side as it is M L square T raised to minus 3. So now we will equate the power of M, L and T. So what about the power M? So if we observe here, M is having power C. So sorry, here only not M. So M is having power C. So here is M on the left hand side, M is having power 1. So 1 is equal to C. That means we can say value of C is equal to 1. Then power of L. Now on the left hand side, L is having power 2. Then on the right hand side, here power is A plus 3B minus 2C. But here C is equal to 1. So we can say that therefore 2 is equal to A plus 3B minus 2. So if I shift this minus 2 to the left hand side then a plus 3b is equal to 4 and therefore uh, we can write here 3b is equal to 4 minus a. 
Now we will move for the power t. So for t here on the left hand side it is minus 3 which is equal to. Now here on the right hand side it is minus b minus 2c. Now if we observe here c is 1. So again I will write therefore minus 3 is equal to minus b minus 2. Therefore b is equal to or minus b is equal to minus 1 and therefore b is equal to 1. So if I take here b is equal to 1 then I will get here uh, 3 into 1 that is 3 is equal to 4 minus a therefore minus a is equal to minus 1 and therefore a is equal to 1. So I will make the bracket so we will get the value of a, b and c. So now we will put the value of a, b and c with this equation. So here I will give here the equation 1. So p is equal to k into h raised to 1, q raised to 1 and w raised to 1. So this is the expression for the power of the pump in terms of head, discharge and specific weight. And this is the answer.